secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This is taken at the three. And now running right through it. The Chiefs' offense about set to begin this drive. That 7 0 lead of theirs short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind. But haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So, what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. We'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Now a pass that's taken in by Hill, and he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. I like that one, partner. They go back-to-back -back with excellent gains. And really, it shouldn't be a surprise who they were throwing the ball to. He's their best guy. Yeah, we knew that they would get him involved early. They're doubling down on getting him involved early. Don't be surprised if they'll come right back to him again. They haven't shown the propensity to be able to stop him. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Complete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Sammy Watkins, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. This is caught. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Demarcus Robinson. 27 yards. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Butker on for the PAT. Oh, and it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. And that is one, no doubt, that may come back to haunt them because the PAT tied it. They didn't need to go for two. I keep searching for an explanation. I know it's quick right here. I think I can search for the next year <laughs> and not come up one. with anything that absolutely works. Kick the point, man. Kick Let's the go. point. I don't get it. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Throwing again on second down. Jackson catches made by Marquise Brown. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Jackson now nearly perfect. Nine of ten in this first half. It's first and ten. Jackson from the shotgun. He's going to find his tight end, Boyle. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere. In the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. So 
So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. It'll be spotted on the right hash. A 52-yard attempt. And this one is right down Broadway. And that'll move their lead up to four now. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So we've reached halftime. You want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. The Ravens ready to receive it. And they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. Fielded about a yard deep. Solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and... Six. From the gun, it's Jackson. Out to his left. He may try and run for this. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. A big play there, Mahomes to Watkins, 42 yards. Well, you had all halftime to think about what you wanted to do to start the second half, and they came out with a big one. Does that not beg the question? What was happening in the other locker room at halftime? Was that the one play they didn't cover as a possibility? Because they just gave up a big, big game. Now, well, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. On second and ten, Mahomes. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jihad Ward in there to get him. It's a loss of five. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Sammy Watkins, 32 yards. And the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. Wow, talk about a big fourth down conversion for the score defensively. How do you let that happen? Yeah, I think you start with the offense and you give them credit for going for it and having that type of, well, let's face it, audacity. But defensively, I think you're right on target, partner. There's no way something like that's supposed to happen in that situation. You're supposed to be able to shut that down and get the ball back for your own team. Instead, they give up not just a big play, but a touchdown. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Yeah. 
The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. Blitz coming and down he goes. Tyron Matthew, normally known for the pass coverage, this time a sack. How about that one? The so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. On second down, Ingram. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. He's going deep for Brown. And this will be caught at the 30. And all the way down to the 26. A big play that time for the Ravens. 43 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. A 10th carry here for Mark Ingram. Give him maybe a yard, quite the opposite from the previous big gainer. On second and nine, Jackson, he dumps it down to Ingram. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. We're back now in KC. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. They'll run here with Ingram. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Only a yard that time, second and goal. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. And again, it's Ingram. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. This is third and goal. This Chiefs defense, they're giving it all they got. From the gun, Jackson. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And they had it there so close to the goal line, a chance to take it across, claim the lead here in the fourth. Boy, that was a big, big mistake. It really was, and as much as I want to give credit to the defense for making the play, I do tend to agree with you. That mistake, that, that's a chance to go in and take, take the lead. I mean, you're in great shape, yet you don't take care of the football. But they'll be going over that like crazy in the upcoming weeks. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Going deep here for Watkins. He's got a man complete. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. It's a gain of 34. So that play much needed there as they're all the way up near the 40 for a first and ten. Now Mahomes going to get this one to Hill. That bulldozing through multiple tackles. And some room to run now. Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 61 yards. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. That is a dangerous combination right there as we are learning quickly. Mahomes to Hill. And think about the number of ways that they are dangerous because Hill can run past anyone, so he can throw it all the way downfield to him. But also on the shorter catches, as we saw here, catch it underneath, catch it in front of someone, he makes a move or uses his speed, and he's still gone. Either way, he can go the distance. And either way, good luck. Point after, right down the middle. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. 
And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly, they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing, that's difficult for a team to handle. And difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. On second down now, it's Ingram. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. To throw is Jackson. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. There he goes, right side. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Marquise Brown, 62 yards, as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. So that's a really big play here in the fourth quarter, and don't look now, they're right back in this game. Did it feel to you, as it did to me, that maybe they were a little bit soft in what they were lining up with on defense? Almost like they were protecting the lead rather than trying to make a play. And now that lead is down to just one score. Yeah, and he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Tyreek Hill making his way back out towards the huddle. He's north of 150 yards in this game. He's been doing his thing, hasn't he? That he has, and he's been enjoying himself. But it's the type of game that you get locked into a pretty good groove. May not be record-shattering, but it's the type of game that if you accumulate that throughout a season, you're going to be one of the top receivers in the game. See how much they incorporate him here on this drive. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. He'll hit Watkins on the crossing route. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. Mahomes now on first down. Caught here by Bell. And quickly we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Mahomes firing complete. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Mahomes will bring him up first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. The veteran Jimmy Smith there on the coverage. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock down it away and bring up second down. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Wow, a personal foul at this stage in the fourth. Hard to believe. Really hard to believe. And now that glow of hope that you had begins to flicker out, doesn't it? Yep. It's Kelsey on the ground. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He was looking again for Kelsey there on that play. Mahomes going to throw it here. And that'll bring up second down. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. So Lamar Jackson in the offense, down by 10, a little over a minute and a half remaining. They'll need a score here and also likely an onside kick recovery, but first things first, first and 10. This pass into the arms of Sneed. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. 
clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. Now Jackson. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Here's Jackson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. Raven's going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Throwing now is Jackson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked off inside the five. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Fighting through, and he's got space. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> But I get the sense it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Kansas City. Let's hit the post-game tailgates and grab some of that barbecue. Yeah, BBQ.